Dear Father, I love you. A phrase you may not hear come out my mouth much, but I'm 29 years old now, so that means you should have heard it at least 10,585 days since I've been born. But since I have to make up for the days I couldn't talk yet, along with the days I simply lack to contact you and tell you those three words, I'm going to use my talents to make sure you know that I appreciate you and the words I love you isn't suffice to elaborate the amount of gratitude I have towards you and all you have done for me and my life on this earth. As a teenager, you were a strict father, and I would always run to mom for everything because nine times out of ten, you would deny me of something I wanted or discipline me in some type of way. As a teen, I was lost, and I also couldn't see what you were trying to do for me. We didn't see eye to eye after my big brother went off to college, and that was when I was being rebellious towards you and mom as well. But yet, you still was the best father that I could ever have. I just couldn't see it. Not yet. See, Father, as a child, I didn't know you were so playful with me and engaged with me as much as you did. I didn't know that you were at all my games no matter what you were supporting me. I didn't know how much effort you put into being my father. See, statistically alone here in America, they state that black fathers always leave and are not in their child's life, but oh no, not you. You, you were there from day zero. You committed to mom as well as to me and my brother, and you haven't gone anywhere since. I never thought that your entrepreneurial mindset would pour into my life in my early 20s, which would ignite my brain cells to cultivate my own business, just like you, Dad. As I grow older now, I start to realize that I want to be just like you when I grow up. I want to be able to build a business that can support a wife and two kids and be there in, in the time of need for any one of my children, take care of other family members and etc. for the fact that I can go on and on for days with all you do and have done in my life, but in totality, I wouldn't be able or be any percentage of the man that I am today if it wasn't for 100% of your efforts and sacrifices. So. Just so you know, if you ever have any doubt in your head, if you have done your job as a father, I, your second son, Alvin Codner, as a proud son, and I am proud to claim you as my father. Thank you. Where you going, eh? I'm just going to get in the water. Hmm? In the water and you go walk down right there. And you go in the street. In the street? No, yeah. don't go in the street. Wait until that car passes. 